Hey folks, welcome back to Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 5 on the Mysterious JG. It's very, very important that you guys realize in the last video, despite what I said at the top, we did do some uh, main story advancement because uh, we were only able to do one, you know, friendship playdate and therefore I uh, did a mission uh, as Franklin for Devon 7 of Apoctal. Uh, did I, what did I do? I have the incorrect sound settings here because I'm not hearing the game. I am about 90% sure this does not impact the recording, which is why I'm going to press forward and really hope this doesn't turn into a big problem. Oh, there's a... I think that's the impotent rage in universe comedy uh, superhero figure. So it looks like as Michael, we can do what is this mission? FIB. What if we were to oh? Marmadraza. Martine. Hey, look. Martine. What have you done? What have you done? I'm looking done? at her ass right now. She's safe. Look, I'm going to find a way to make this right with you. I'm going to buy you another house. Well, really? That's it? She's going to hang up at that point? It ain't us they're after. You don't need to wave that around. I'm just curious what happens if you kill her. We get a message like, uh, Snake, what have you done? You've created a time paradox. <laughs> All right, so. The FIB guys are probably one of the two things. Well, no, with the... Trevor, I wonder if we've got different stuff we need to do. We've got a Stranger and Freak mission, and I think there's a Rampage as well. I'll see you next time, alright? Bye. And Franklin, sleeping with more prostitutes. So yeah, he's got a stranger in free commission. I think we've done what we can do right now with Franklin other than stranger in free commission. Because he's showing two. One of them is Stranger and Freak. The other one is uh, the Lester assassination missions. Which I'm not going to wait till post game, but I do want to wait until we get at least one uh, of the you know multiple in game heists that pays before we do those. Ah, unhand me, time, sir. Trevor doesn't seem like a very happy person, does he? He can also do the FIB mission, and he can do Strangers and Freaks. So let's do an FIB mission to wrap up probably this session. Unless it goes really quickly, in which case I'll get something else done too. If there's somebody who's likely to be the one to trigger this mission, I guess it's Trevor, because he's the one who's supposed to know about it. Because, uh, Ron told him about it. But it's possible we're going to miss dialogue that Michael has with Dave Norton. Uh, I don't know why I cared about this so much last session. Right now I'm kind of like over it, but yeah, let's just trigger the mission. What are they up on that? We know this place has multiple levels because we had a mission set here that involved fighting our way out of like the roof or something. So I guess they're up on a higher level. Now if I turn this corner and see...
try to I, like if I know for a fact that Michael's the one who should trigger it, I'll switch to Michael. But yeah, it doesn't seem to matter. Oh, nice place you got here. Well, yeah, it's I easy mean, to mock, isn't it? Huh? Cheap and fucking easy. Well, you just pissed in the corner. This here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't I love this place. It's awesome. The way you're peeing out of walls. More sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get a point. You're like every other asshole. Mm -hmm. You made a bit of money. You became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No. That's a good you one. You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this. The place, you're a shell. Go fuck yourself. I thought you just said this place was good. Are you some kind of pure, morally justifiable asshole? But because you're 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 totally psychotic, somehow it's okay. I'm honest, all right. You're the hypocrite. Oh yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh yeah, well I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Hello. Okay, and their their oh, friends oh, kept here. Ladies, what's up? Fuck I don't off. like Listen. him. I'm sorry, but we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one, nerve gas, biological terror. Mm-hmm. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. Boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck. Oh God, not another helicopter. Source all of that. <laughs> Chopper what? alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking a right at sarcasm. Dude. I told you Fuck. sarcasm is not a thing I Two like. Two weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. My psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere. Steve Norton and Dave are like, yeah, that's, that's really interesting. Or it's uh, Steve Trevor. Or Steve. T it can't be Steve Trevor. Trevor's Trevor's name. Anyway, the two FBI guys are got to be like, oh, this is a really interesting conversation they're having. <laughs> to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend $2 million on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Yes. Yeah, sarcasm. That's, that's good. Yeah, I mean, Gene Hackman couldn't have done scream acting better, but I'm still like, what what the fuck are we getting at here? A room full of you cunts! Yes! Woo! Welcome back, man! It is the old you! The one who yelled a lot. Yeah, well, we gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. That we didn't really describe to you at all. Other than saying you have to go upstate in a helicopter, it's somehow involved. Take care of it. Oh, you will receive a series of text-based instructions in the top left corner of your screen. Good job. Make sure not to re miss the one about how to deploy the grappling hook or you'll spend 10 minutes scraping the top of a submarine with your helicopter. Alright, I'll give Lester a fucking... He said he knew about something. Maybe he knows he what these guys are talking about because they didn't tell us. Get in the car. Let's get into our car. Okay, we can't switch to Trevor for no reason. Is there a button I can use to urinate on one of the walls? But this was the bar that he came to to get drunk, isn't it? Where is it? Hold on. It should say this is piss foster country. Um, no, unless I was on the other side of the building. Yeah, Amanda's not gonna like what you. You let her car get super dirty, dude. By the way, upstate is just like here. <laughs> like a five minute drive away is upstate. Let me call Lester. Stop preventing me from calling Lester, you jerk. What now? We got a funding problem. So we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talked about a score, a, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. I can teleport up there. I'll meet you as soon as you need me to be there. 
Doesn't matter that there's no possible way a bus could have beaten you there. I'll be there when you get there. No way. Good call. You're taking down a bank for a few million. First thing you do is call the hospital. Tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this AC bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They mm -hmm. keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. I'd like to learn more. And so how come Trevor hasn't knocked over this bank? Have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac, well, you know, you just psycho, called him that in this last cinematic, so. Industry leader. Uh, in some ways, you defy categorization. But then, what? Think about it. Where you live. Mm -hmm. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Oh, I'm right. sure it's something to give you a range. Why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. Real this is bad. America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it Couple gets motorcycle guys following us, sir? Fucking moon. Okay. What about the way you dress? It will not let me turn the camera to look behind shit. us. It just won't. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. It's true. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, well, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. Uh -huh. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoo, the hair. The weird music. The, the hair? Funny you don't like his hair? The niche drugs. The everything. What the fuck are we talking about? Well, you it's mostly Michael talking. You're a hipster. What? You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. Self loathing hipster. Poor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters? You know. I eat hamburgers. I eat them not really, I guess for fun. Yeah, it's fun to eat a food that you like. I don't go around saying I have whore hamburgers and that's why I eat them. Hey, they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. Hmm. Are it be because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers? You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up. Then the skinny lattes. Then the bankers, and you'll be somewhere else, starting the cycle all over again. Maybe okay. you're not a classic garden variety hipster, but you're what the hipsters aspire to be. You An insane cannibal drug dealer. Are the proto hipster. <laughs> Don't do. Does something aspire aspire to be the proto version of itself? Isn't the proto version just what came before? No, what you're oh, talking yeah. about. I don't agree with what you're saying. I don't know what you're saying, and I don't agree with whatever it is. You're trying to wind me up, but I'm very, very angry, and I want this conversation to stop right now. This is why I'm really mad at JG for slowing down so it can Fuck finish. You. Fuck you, Michael! Say it again. I made my point. I'm not a sadist. I also don't want to be murdered. By the way, do you own the hen house? JG honestly doesn't remember. I think we made him buy the hen house. Which, yeah, that's right, we did. That's why he has, like, no money left. Let's get rid of the good song, by the way. Just throwing that out there. Up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Oh, never mind. They're going to flash forward. I'm sorry. I was joking that, like, the minute we get here, Lester will be here. But they are going to do a little flash forward thing, so it makes some sense. I remember this plot line. I didn't remember exactly when. It, yeah, Trevor's about to throw something at Michael, I think. Uh, I didn't remember exactly when it happened, but uh, I'm glad it's coming because, well, I mean, unless this is a we get no money for it because it all goes to buying the equipment for the next heist, I think we actually get money for this, which was, which means I think this is vaguely what I had in mind, that once we do this heist, which we're about to start down the road of, it won't all get done in one video. I think then we actually go do the Lester assassination missions and get everybody some money. Should be enough to buy the properties, just to see what they do. Uh, but honestly, again, in this game, like GTA Online, I've never played. I spent like one evening playing around with it, and I never got anywhere past street races. But 
like G- like even t- even today loading up the game there was like new content coming out later this month that i'm playing in the same year that gta 6 is coming out they're unleashing new gta 5 online content something called like the hen house or not the hen house the um uh the clucking bell caper or something like some kind of mission where you're going to a clucking bell poultry farm to break up some kind of crime syndicate or something I don't know. I'm not going to play it. I don't play any of the GTA 5 online content, but I'm kind of, I guess what I'm get why I'm going into this weird side thing about GTA 5 online is that, uh, like people who play it a lot, like it's got a reputation system, which I think people like go out there and get reputation points so they can be on leaderboards and it's like an ego thing, but like just playing the game, like it has to be that you constantly have enough money for ludicrous amounts of cars and guns and shit. Like, Playing GTA Five, just the story mode. Uh, once you get past Act One of the game's not to bite into acts in any meaningful way, but like, yeah, you get to the point where like the biggest thing you could spend money on would be armor, because you've almost always got plenty of guns. I'm comparing it on my head to like GTA Three, where there was nothing to spend money on except armor and guns, but you still felt cash strapped occasionally uh, if you went around having like buying armor and guns and losing them occasionally and buying replacements i I don't think i've ever felt as poor as i did playing gta uh san andreas and vice city because vice city in particular you have stuff to spend money on so like you you go around doing stuff to save up money to buy the properties then in san andreas the properties don't generally do much for you but other than provide save points for the most part but they are stupid expensive to the point where if you feel compelled to buy them all you're going to be needing to save up all of your money. <laughs> Come on, man, knock it off. What? I'm gonna break your fucking fingers. You don't knock that shit off. Well, please. All right, you alleviate the boredom. Why didn't we flash ahead just a little bit longer? <laughs> like if we flashed ahead thirty seconds longer, we wouldn't have this tension between us. Hey. Hey. Paradise. Hey, Lester, where's your wheelchair? What? Cars this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mark will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? He just well said it's dry out here. Like, he really just kind of said that, like, the first thing he okay, might see them. Take a look at this bank. But take a look at this bank. <laughs> and we'll go to the front of the bank. Clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. You should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. I'm trying to do that take a look at me now song. Uh, I can't remember any of the words. Take a look at me now. I can't remember the name of the artist who did it. It's like, uh, it's Phil Collins. I don't know if it's Phil Collins or Genesis. Whatever. Yeah, Shut up, Gigi. So. Whiskey River still playing like 12 hours later. This is the extended cut of Whiskey River, guys. <laughs> or uh, Willie Nelson blacked out for 12 hours and woke up and forgot he was. Forgot he he uh, finished singing Whiskey River. That's the entrance to the bank. Uh-huh. Nothing special. They take us around back. Okay. So why did we uh, have to drive up to it if it's nothing, like, whatever? I'm sure we can fail this mission if we, like, get There's police attention. Behind, and no one should pay attention to us back there. I like it. I mean, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. This'll do. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. No one pays attention to out-of-towners loitering around in a oh, vacant yeah. lot right next to the bank. Pull into the vacant lot with the garbage container in it. Mm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no. This is the score. Mm-hmm. What are our options? It's a and why idea, can't we find another score? The alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey, you heard the man, all right? Shoot the sucker. Okay. okay, I brought my police scanner to drive over to the gas station opposite the bank and we'll monitor chatter. All right. Luckily, no one's focused on the vacant lot and right next to the bank. This is Toledo Bank Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Lane County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. 
on me. Three six nine. Woo. Four six nine. Oh man, I wish all three of us could ride that bike together. That'd be great. Some more on standby, and it isn't even thirty. Victor, our shots fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? Forty seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code Thirty Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. Oh look, there's Ron's cousin. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. The alarm just went off on their piggy bank. Yeah, he's right. And the instructions come in. This Sit there for a minute. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars. 68. You are so far off, Lester. You're really losing your touch. <laughs> Sorry. I had, uh, I had to pause to, to take care of something physically happening, and I just va uh, vamping here. More in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many. We can take this. Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. And you drive off in mission failed. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're going to set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car mm -hmm. searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Toss him out. Hey! Wheelchair or not, we're still faster than your ass. Well, I'm not going to out... A cop, we've got to go. We're going, and if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running from the cops. I don't like Trevor, fuck him. Like, no, I I liked Trevor the first time I played through, but now I actually have an enough attachment to Johnny Schnabitz, and I'm like, no, I don't think it was reasonable to murder a protagonist just to build up Trevor. We're fine, we're gonna get out of here. Trevor Phillips, of course this would turn into a car chase. We're not being chased. Not yet. We're not being chased. Not We're total all. sluts. Look, take a deep breath. We're gonna be fine. We just gotta get back to Trevor's office. When Trevor says office, he really means... Get off the road up here. This must be Trevor's route through the mountains. Yeah, dirt track. Might get bumpy. Yeah, we just missed dialogue the there. Gas station by the Alamo oh, fuck you, Trevor. I've seen the title of ownership, and judging by the glassware he ordered a year ago, I'm guessing it's a meth lab. A meth lab. Just perfect! Laboratory don't do it justice. It's more of a shithole where meth is made. Yeah, I guess I should have known better than death. To... bakery to prep the perfect stick-up job. Don't worry. It's gonna be fine. It would, I, I should have known it would be easier riding the bike, but at least this way we're getting the dialogue. The alarm is a UXVF 111 classification, minute long relay interval, third party verification, multiple monitoring centers. Sure, I can disable it, but but it'll cost more than the job is worth. I actually uh, said that already if you were listening. So, what do we do? We walk away. It's not like we need the money. Uh, about that. You've been day trading? No, God no. I mean, yeah. Looks like the road takes a dip and a turn after that bridge. Slow down. Yeah, yeah, I've been trading, but no, that's not why we need the money. Then why do you need the money? <laughs> All right, so. I guess we're going to lose a Trevor. It's fine. The, the IAA are using it to manufacture a poison gas that they're going to release on U.S. soil in order to hope Wait, how do we know that this? the government increases their funding. Well, that sounds idiotically improbable enough to be possible. But what's it got to do with you and Trevor sticking up the Blaine County savings and loan? Agent Steve Haynes needs two million plus to finance a raid on the Steve land. Haynes, that's his and name. Guess who's doing the raid? And guess who's paying for it? Ah, I see. Yeah, Why is Lester you know, still involved with I these guys? But I'm doing it. And it sounds like Trevor would hit this bank for candy and a pat on the head. Now tell me, can we do it? Or do we move on? Now you can do it, but you can't do it clean. How messy we talk? Sorry, I just I just pictured. Um, so we're losing the race of Trevor. It's okay, but I just pictured uh, Tywin Lannister saying "clean" when he said we couldn't do it clean. clean. Taking the cops head on, messy. Well, they are dirty cops. That's what Trevor says. So do you think we can do it? I have a problem with shooting. I, Michael DeSanta, have a problem with killing cops if they're not dirty, by the way. Well drilled team coming straight for him. 
Now when we need an edge, something to tip the eye. Need an edge, or perhaps Chris. I got a couple ideas. <laughs> or right. the cope. Yeah, this must... I'm pretty sure we get to use Chef for this mission. Which means the uh, portion of our cut is affected. Because the mission... The last mission where we got no money for it, we were just using our three protagonists. Anytime, like, you get to choose people to assist on the heist, that's because there's something built in where that affects... Uh... Now can I switch to him? No. But yeah, like, we wanted to hear the dialogue here. I think Trevor just is driving along... I guess he might have had a phone call with Ron we missed or something. He probably did now that I think about it. Oh well, he's gonna brag about how awesome he is. Trevor Let's beat go. us here. Oh well, at least we weren't arrested. Crap. <laughs> Jesus, what took you so long? Mm -hmm. Had to let you win. If you want, you could take it upon yourself to look up how the dialogue changes depending on who wins, but the most interesting variation we playing is Trevor and losing, actually. Aboard over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know I don't want you to get hungry and moody, right? Then you're gonna be. I don't want you to get uh, hangry. I have been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. here you go. Bon appetito. What is this? Jesus Christ, Trevor! What is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a, a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless that gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? I know that you're talking about eating humans, but... Longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. Mm -hmm. It means you've got to face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. The cops head on dirty? Yeah. I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. Convoy is carrying military-grade hardware past near here to get to Fort Zancudo. Mm -hmm. uh, I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. Uh, I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score and providing for your FIB paymasters. Fine. Okay. We need personnel? Just a gunman. He'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice, choose someone good. Oh, we don't have choices here. I mean, about which method to choose. Uh, think about my buddy's chef, okay? Consummate professional. I think I chose chef. I mean, you, you get... We get more money if we choose one of these guys. Um, but I, I like the, the idea that Chef is actually a character, Packy to a lesser degree too. I like the idea that like, you know, these guys I don't think ever will get to be characters in any way. So the idea that Chef like actually is going to benefit, oh yeah, like, uh, Packy is <laughs> max power, but, uh, let's try to level up. Yeah, so there's no point leveling Packy up. Other than the weapon choice, he's already at max on everything. But uh, leveling up Chef could mean in the final heist where we get to hire more than one person, we might have two maxed out warriors here. So let's go with Chef. Although up here, it's like plan A or plan B. Like, it, there doesn't seem to be a choice there. This really the guy you want? Yes. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, you do what you do. Roger that. And I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's going to be tight, but, you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Why don't you show? What? I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Hmm? He nuked it, had two bites, and is putting it back in the fridge. Oh, that's, that's fun. Having some, I was having some digestive trouble earlier. You don't need to hear about it, but this isn't helping. Oh. Winner, leisurely drive and winner. So we got a winner would obviously be winning the damn thing.
drive to the bank within 3.30. I probably would have got it, but I wanted to hear the dialogue and then win the race back to the meth lab. Okay, whatever. Franklin, buddy, what's up? Hey, what's up, look, really? I was about to make that joke myself. For you, homie. Some angry motherfuckers. I found where they stay, man, and I've been following them. Okay, well, it's got to be the O'Neill brothers. <laughs> what's left of them? I'll pick up Michael and we'll come to you. T, hey, man. T, hey, man. Can you explain why I know that the O'Neills are following you? <laughs> It's just like, hey, T, some redneck motherfucker's been following you. <laughs> Wait, so I've been following that? Wait, what? <laughs> what? I don't... Well, here will be him following O'Neill's, I guess. He's back to Sandy Shores. Why didn't I hear about it? God damn it. Damn, these redneck fools know we own them now. No, game, I don't think so. Uh, I'm assuming we got a save from... Because uh, I got to call it a video here. And then I got to go uh, do some other stuff. So I'm going to assume that we got some kind of fast save. Um, I'm a little confused slash concerned that the Palmetto Beast... Be beast. The, Calmet the Palmetto Beach heist. Palmetto Bay heist. It had something called Plan B question mark, but we didn't get a choice about that. So I'm like, did I do something wrong that we should have gotten a choice? Maybe a choice appears in a later mission. But uh, anyway, um, no, I'm going to call it a video. I'm going to shut off GTA 5. And uh, uh, if uh, it turns out we have to go through the, the, the score setup mission again, I guess I'm doing it on my own. And what I'll do is probably play as Trevor and intentionally lose the race to see what the dialogue is. And pick it up from there. But I'm not planning to do that because I'm really hoping that we don't... We're just going to load and be right in the middle of that mission having completed and us starting the new one. Thanks to autosave. I just need to remember to go with autosave instead of a manual save. So, uh, wish us both luck in that respect and I'll catch you next time, guys. Bye.